Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in Electromagnetics and Antennas series. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the continuity equation. And this equation has a close proximity to Maxwell's fourth equation because this equation relates current density J with charge density rho. So if this is something that interests you, then please keep watching. Let's get a brief idea of what is happening here and what is the meaning of continuity in this equation. To understand that, we consider a cube with some charge in that volume. This positive signs are representing charge in the volume and their charge density could be rho v and the total number of charge is let us say q. Now if this charge moves out of this cube from this surface area which is colored in orange we'll say that the charge is moving out from this surface and movement of charge is known as current. So we'll say that the current is leaving from the surface. Charge when it starts to move causes current to form and how can we relate that is, is specified in the continuity equation. So let's see how we derive this equation for that we need to write down this uh, preface for the condition that let q amount of charge is placed in the cube and the volume of the cube is v and some current i comes out from one side with the surface s so the total volume of this entire cube is v and the surface area of this side of the cube only from where the current is coming out is S. Now if there is a flow of charge leaving the volume from the surface some amount of current is surely produced and this current will cause charge to decrease with respect to time. So this point is very important whenever the current flows out of the surface of this volume that will result in the decrease of charge because eventually the charge is moving out and causing the current to be created so law of conservation of energy says and then if if energy is being transferred energy is being carried put kinetic energy is being made then some amount of potential energy must lose so that's the essence of this equation the derivation is really really simple so let's get to the prerequisites we know that the current can be expressed in terms of current density as j dot ds from the discussions of Maxwell's equation you must know this fact that current can be expressed in terms of current density so um, we're talking about this surface area so if a small surface area ds is taken so integrating it over the entire surface will give me the total current if I know the current density of course and the second thing that we need to know is that charge can be expressed in terms of charge density again if the volume charge density is rho v in this volume we take up a small volume and integrate it over the entire volume we get the total charge so the first two things that you must know as the prerequisite of solving continuity equation is the expression of current in terms of current density and charge in terms of charge density. Then it is pretty simple that from this discussion that we did here, the current which is produced in this particular scenario is minus dq by dt. So negative rate of change of charge with respect to time results in the creation of current. So some amount of charge is reducing with respect to time within this volume that is causing my current to be produced and rest everything is simple putting the 
um, value of current in terms of current density here and putting the value of charge in, term, char, in terms of charge density here, here I get j dot ds to be equivalent to minus t by dt of rho v dv and finally finally I apply the Gauss's divergence theorem in on the left hand side so when we change any equation from uh, surface integral to volume integral using Gauss's divergence theorem this ds is changed to dv and the vector is operated with the del operator so divergence of j from the volume is equivalent to j coming out of the surface so again this can be thought of as one prerequisite that Gauss's divergence theorem must be known in order to take this form of equation from j dot ds to divergence of j dv integral and on this side I've just taken this dy dt inside of the integral and that converts to curly rho v by curly t and this is a volume integral so now we have volume integrals on both the sides so I can take this equation to be the final equation for continuity so this is continuity equation and we verbally say it as the divergence of current density is equal to the negative rate of change of charge density with respect to time very very elementary but very important also and the reference of this uh, also occurs in the Maxwell's fourth equation so that was it for today's tutorial I hope you liked this quick tutorial on continuity equation if you did uh, please consider subscribing to the channel like this video share it amongst your friends it will be of great help and I'll see you in the next video to come till then take care have a good day and a good life ahead bye